going to be talking about cleaning the air conditioning filters and screens today from inside the RV. So we're going to be using some simple tools to clean today. A little bit of dish soap and an old toothbrush that you're not going to reuse for your teeth. And then a drill or screwdriver and a vacuum of some sort. So you can see how there's dirt that's been building up on the return side of the air conditioning unit. We're gonna get that cleaned off today. First, we start off by removing the screws. Some units may have a slightly different screen that will be accessible without removing the screws. We can see how dirty that is. Then we're going to talk about what you should have done in the first place. So first off, what you want to do when you're servicing anything in the RV is you want to make sure that it is off. Either the safest bet is to turn the breaker off but you wanna at least make sure that you turn off at the switch itself. So the air conditioning is currently running. We're gonna put it in the off position. The thing I wanted to point out is this baffle right here. This baffle right here is what separates the return side here, and that's where the filter is, and then the outlet side here that on this particular unit forces it through the duct work to come out like this duct here. If this is falling down, your air conditioning is not going to cool as well. It is going to be bypassing the air so that it's going to be coming from this side back into the return and cooling and then shutting the unit off. You'll have the potential to be freezing the evaporator. And so then the air conditioning is not going to be as efficient. On some of the units, you'll see a aluminum tape that goes around this area. That's good for sealing this side off from the other side. And if you see that it's torn or separated, you can get some of that aluminum tape at any home improvement store and just reapply it straight over the old old tape and it'll be fine. So as we look in here, we could see that even on some of the wiring here, there's some dirt building up. And some of this is stuck on there with um, some of the oils and stuff like that that get in the air or from cooking or whatnot. So you wanna make sure that you clean these off and you can have a drop cloth underneath you so that you don't get it all over the floor or you can use your vacuum while wiping it off. One of the things that you can use is you can use that old toothbrush and you can start to scrub that stuff away. You can start to see how it, it's flaking off right there. If you use just a little bit of dish soap solution with water, it'll clean that stuff right off. And then you can just wipe it down with a paper towel or a towel the other thing that I wanted to point out is if we can look up past the wiring, you could see that there's dust on the evaporator coils. You're going to want to vacuum some of that off too, but you do not want to bend the fins of the evaporator. It will make it less efficient as well. There are sprays that you can purchase that say evaporator cleaner and you, it's a little more involved with trying to keep some of the mess that runs off off of your furniture or your flooring so just be advised of that if you spray a spray up there that's a foam cleaner they work pretty good but they also are a little more cleanup 
can see here it's a little dirty you can take the the brush to clean this off as you are vacuuming now obviously i have the vacuum off right now because it'll be too loud but just a light brushing of this while you're vacuuming to get this debris off again you can use the solution of a little bit of dish soap uh, in water to clean that off Also on this unit, this has the screen here that you can take off. You can vacuum this off as well. And then take a little bit of that soap solution, spray this down, and then rinse it out in the sink to help clean it, and then hang it up to dry. also want to check these screws here to make sure that they are tight there's four of them one in each corner that's what holds the whole AC unit onto the roof it's just those four bolts so you just make sure that the springs are compressed if they have springs on them or that they're just not loose once you're satisfied with how clean the fins are on the evaporator then you can Close up the vent with the filter that is nice and clean, and then check the operation. We're going to reinstall the return cover. You can start by screwing these screws by hand. It makes it a little easier to line them up. You get them right back into the same holes. And ceiling so that your ceiling doesn't look like Swiss cheese. Be careful when you're screwing these back in that you don't go too tight. So just up enough and snug. That's how you maintain your air conditioning filters and screens and a little bit of the evaporator maintenance on the inside. <laughs>